Hi, this is question number two. We have y is equal to ln 1 plus sine of 2x, and then for the second part, y is equal to tan of x over x. And we need to find dy by dx in each of the following cases. Let us look at the first case. We have to find dy by dx. Now we know that dy by dx will simply become 1 over the uh, 1 plus sine of 2x isn't it because we're differentiating a natural logarithm all right we should remember that uh, if y is equal to ln x then dy by dx is equal to 1 over x which is the case however we have a coincide when we need to differentiate this one when you differentiate 1 you're going to get 0 you differentiate sine 2x you're going to get cos of 2x but multiply by 2 as well because you need to differentiate the 2x so that's going to become then 1 over 1 plus sine of 2x multiply by the derivative of the, of the core inside. You only differentiate sine, you get 2 cos of 2x. Multiply that and you're going to end up with 2 cos of 2x divided by 1 plus sine of 2x. And here we are for dy by dx for the first part. For the second part, we can immediately recognize that this can be put as u, this can be put as v, and we can use the quotient rule. The quotient rule is such that dy by dx is equal to v du by dx minus u dv by dx all over v square. Now we have uh, u is equal to tan of x, and when you differentiate tan, you're going to get du by dx is equal to x square x and you have v is equal to x when you differentiate v dv by dx you're going to get um, 1 so v du by dx minus q dv by dx v dv by dx is x times sec square x minus u dv by dx tan x times 1 is tan x and all of that divided by v square and v is x therefore divided by x to the square and here is dy by dx for the second part of the question and this was taken from June 2011 Advanced Level Maths HSC Peaceful. Okay.